Eastview, you're watching The Girls Show. I'm Callie, this is Ashley, and that's Allie. Today we have a special show get dedicated to girl power. This show is all about how girls rule and boys drool. Our first story is about the girls golf team and their early season success. Dee Dee went out to get the story. Normally at this time of the year, spring sports are in full swing. The girls golf team is one of many activities whose season has been cut short due to unusual weather conditions. The season has been different because we had to practice a lot of the time indoors in the gym because the weather was so bad and usually we're outside by the end of March and we just got outside last week. We're a little bit less prepared this year just because we haven't practiced as much before then. However, the experience hasn't been entirely negative. Well, because we've had to practice indoors, we've had to stay like together, which, you know, kind of allowed us to have more bonding. Although the weather may not be on their side, it certainly hasn't dampened their perseverance. When I, like our golf team went outside when a lot of the golf teams didn't because we're tough and we were the, one of the only girls teams out there a couple of the days. Yeah, I hope we go to state again this year. For sure, some individuals, but we really want to go as a team again. Make sure to wish the girls well as they battle the competition and the weather this season. Signing off for The Flash, this is Deirdre. Thanks, Dee Dee. Sounds like those girls are setting themselves up to have an edge over the competition. They seem like they're tough as nails. Speaking of nails, prom's coming up. Where are you guys getting your nails done? I actually think I'm going to do my own. I've heard that there's some really talented nail artists here at Eastview. Allie went out to learn more about these girls. With prom quickly approaching, many girls are looking for creative ways to do their nails. ECU senior Maddie Swain started doing her own nails and has become very good at it. I started doing my own nails because it's so expensive at the salons and I really wanted my nails done for like prom and homecoming and stuff. So I went on Pinterest and I talked to some of my friends who are really good at nails and they taught me everything they know and I've just been doing my own ever since. Getting your nails done at a salon can get really expensive, but doing your nails at home can be a fun alternative. Last year for prom, I had my nails done. I got them done at the salon. I just got acrylics, but this year I'm going to turn money and just do it on my own. I think more people should get into doing their own nails for prom and homecoming because it's actually not that hard and it's a lot of fun. So ladies, when you're deciding how to do your nails for prom, don't forget to consider doing them yourself. Signing off for The Flash, this is Allie. Thanks, Allie. It's good to know about some alternatives for prom nails. A remarkable athlete here at Eastview is Taylor Tibet. She's really showing off her girl power. The Flash got the story on this outstanding girl. A lot of seniors at Eastview have been receiving awards this time of year. The Athena Award is specifically given to a female athlete. Yeah, Athena is uh, given around the, the state of Minnesota and particularly the metro area of Minneapolis and St. Paul for to recognize the top female senior athlete in each school. Well, Athena is the goddess of bravery, courage, and wisdom, and so it's just it's a prestige award for girls who are like ath ath in athletics, but also just kind of bravery and courage within their sports programs. This year's Athena recipient is Taylor Tavet. I play hockey and lacrosse for Eastview, but growing up I played all sports. Taylor has fought through many obstacles in her path to excellence. Sports have really helped me through um, a rough high school life. Being gay in high school, it's really hard, but sports have kept me on that right path and have really helped me find who I am. Taylor found who she was, and she is a tremendous leader. As evidenced by her three-year captainship in lacrosse, she is also a five-time all-conference award winner and has lettered eight times in her high school career. Congratulations to Taylor Tavet, this year's Athena Award winner. Signing off for The Flash, this is Melissa Montanisi. Thanks, Melissa. It's great to hear about the accomplishments of girls here at Eastview. Gosh, you guys, it's so annoying to have to put on makeup every day. Yeah, I know what you mean. Maybe we could find someone to do it for us. Stay tuned for the credits, Eastview. I don't care what other people say. I think I did really good. 
I'm trying to start a new trend here. Makeup can look however it wants. I see a lot of makeup in theater, so that might have given a little unfair advantage. And clearly I, I did the best. I wanted it to look somewhat Hunger Games-ish. I'm now taking applications to do prom makeup, so let me know, tweet me, or text me if you have any interest in looking like Devony at prom.